right guys, we gotta make fence today. So we gotta put corner posts on the two corners, on the two ends and then on the corner. So we need three posts peeled because these weren't cut in season. So these were cut this spring or uh, late winter. Anyways, the bark needs to come off. So that's why we're using these draw knives. <clears throat> Normally we have a nice sawhorse set up and you could just work right at waist height, but we don't have one. Uh, we haven't peeled posts in a while. It's broken and uh, gone. So we're just doing it real quick here. Just leaning on the edge of the wagon. Got two of these draw knives from my grandfather. My dad had a nice sharpen on them. So it's pretty simple, pretty quick job, but it cleans the post up nice. If you put a post in the ground with this uh, bark on it, um, it's more of a tendency to hold that moisture and rot. So we always peel the post before we put them in the ground. On occasion, they've gone in the ground and then we just come back the next year and peel it off um, right up to ground level. So anyways, the post will last a lot longer without the bark on it. And it works a lot nicer if you don't have knots. There's a few knots on these posts. We'll just buzz those off with the chainsaw once I'm done. And we'll put in a bunch of T-posts on a straight stretch and we'll get the cows rotated into their new pasture. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of uh, peeling posts with the draw knife. Another lost art. Um, a lot of old timers have done this a lot. The sights and smells are absolutely a, uh, a blast from the past from when I was younger. My brothers and I used to do this a lot. My dad would have a wagon full of posts like this and say, uh, get, that, get those posts peeled before I get home from work. And uh, that's what we did, peeled post. So, oh, it smells good. Make sure you got gloves though, because there's a lot of pitch. As it warms up, all the pitch is leaking out. This is not pitch. <laughs> this is stain from another project, but use some old pants, use some old work clothes. Um, like I said, it's nice to have a uh, sawhorse that's designed for peeling posts, but you can do it without. Nice little workout. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.